What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about World War III because we just came out with the beta and I really wanted to talk about it and uh, yeah. But before we get into that, be sure to like up the video, subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on any other games that I decide to cover or World War III itself. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So initially I was actually kind of scared with this game because it had launched on Thanksgiving, which was a few days ago. Now, for those of you that don't know what Thanksgiving is, it's an American holiday. We are thankful for the things that you have pretty much. We eat a shit ton of food and yeah. But that's not the reason why I was scared. The reason why I was scared was because when I awoke, I tried to launch it and it said that it was down for maintenance. Uh, this actually scared me for a little bit because I was just like, oh man, did they fuck it up? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no. I'm having like flashbacks of 2018 all over again because back in 2018 their servers just completely took a shit and it took like 10 hours to even load into the damn game but no that's actually not the case thank goodness because people were actually able to play it when I was sleeping like the beta actually started up five hours prior to when I actually woke up and they said that they were able to get in and actually play and have a good session people were able to play for about two hours. I was actually looking around the internet to see if there was anybody that was, you know, streaming it or, you know, showing it on YouTube. And yeah, the gameplay looked pretty good. It looked like there was a lot of people that were actually having fun with it. It's just that there was a couple of uh, server issues and they said that the sound was still kind of bad, which is like interesting because, you know, that was like the main issue that I thought happened last time in their alpha. I wasn't able to play it myself, not like fully at that time. But according to Big Fry's Twitter, he said that the issues that he was having with the game is the audio, which I already knew the audio was was pretty bad at least in the previous version random animation issues optimization honestly he's naming a lot of the stuff that i feel like was an issue in the alpha and i'm kind of confused like i feel like that stuff should have been done by now right the squad system is broken that's a new one to be because in the alpha i was actually able to play with friends like all the time so i'm not sure what happened between then and there and how it broke like i have a full stream where i'm actually playing with a buddy in like three different matches <laughs> uh, we were able to invite each other and stuff but overall he says that the game is pretty fun with no game breaking issues it just sounds like we're playing the alpha again aside from the squad system being broken but that was just my first day experience i didn't actually get to try it out until now so now i am going to tell you what my thoughts are honestly to me this game at the moment is a bit of a mixed bag it's not great it's not terrible it's just in the middle probably an above average game so far they definitely have a lot of time to fix it between now and launch but there's still like a lot of glaring issues that we are going to get into right now starting with the worst one which is the sounds the sounds are really bad not only do the guns sound like they're airsoft and paintball guns but i can't actually place where the bullets or footsteps are coming from like they're kind of all over the place and speaking of footsteps they seriously need to redo them because they are so loud like i could hear my own footsteps our units are taking hold of objective alpha one and they can actually just block out my goddamn ears. I can't even hear myself think. And also, when you start running faster, you know, you have your gun up on one hand and you're like sprinting. It sounds like a whole army is coming towards you. when it's really just one guy. Side note, how come when you're in a tank and you're shooting the barrel, it sounds louder when you're not in third person? Like it deafens everything except for the freaking shooting. Like it should be the other way around. Like the barrel should be louder on the outside and deafened on the inside, right? At least that's how I think it should be, right? So sound is honestly, I think the worst thing about this so far. And it's an issue that has been going on ever since I played it since the alpha, maybe even before that. It almost feels like they didn't really address it. And now the sounds just feel like they kind of got worse, but I don't know, that's just me. Let's move on to something else. Uh, the FPS when running around the map is fine, but it's significant drops when you start to get into firefights like it may not look like it on screen but on my computer it just tanks like what the hell the game definitely needs more optimization for sure it's just really weird how that works like everything seems fine when you're like running around the map but the moment you start shooting at someone it just tanks speaking of running around the map either the maps are too big or there's just just not enough players because most of the time I'll be running around the map looking for people to shoot at and I'll never find the enemy either they need to cut down the size of 
of the map or up the player count in the game because just trying to find firefights is really annoying. Capping points takes fucking forever. It takes so goddamn long that it just literally stops the flow of the game. They need to cut down the capping in half. They need to make it so that if you have more than one person there, it should go a lot faster. Cause sitting there with my thumb on my ass wishing I was somewhere else is not how a player should be playing this game. I think they might've fixed this issue, but uh, I still wanna mention it here cause I'm not sure if they fixed it or not, but it was actually a real hassle to even get into a game sometimes. When I got into a game, there's like an initial phase where you're kind of just like waiting for players, but you could like screw around basically. And even when I got like up to 30 players, it wouldn't start because you had to wait like a whole freaking minute. It's like, no, it should be the moment that you hit 30 players, just start the game. And some games wouldn't even get reseeded. The player count would just keep dropping and no players would come in. So I had to, you know, get out of the game and just go back into it. And the interesting thing about this is that it would actually put me into ongoing games. But the problem is that it would literally put me in at the very ass end of a game. There we go, fuck. I don't know why it took so long. Uh. Uh oh. What the fuck? So I'd load in and then get kicked out because the game had just ended. So I'm just like, well, what the hell? It really just made getting into the game like more of a hassle. And I really didn't want to deal with that. Uh, guns feel sporadic when aiming in. I feel like they have a bit too much recoil, especially for people who have grips. Like, I think they need to cut that down just a little bit. Here's a personal thing for me. Uh, I'm kind of sick and tired of the maps. Not gonna lie. I've been playing them for like ever. I mean, I know that they got like a new coat of paint and they're slightly different, but uh, they, I just really would like to play some new and different maps because they're basically the same ones from 2018. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all the issues that I have with it so far. Oh, I sent in an application to become a partner and uh, they reviewed it and I think I got accepted, but when trying to use their website, it just wasn't that good. Oh my God, is this where the 2018 servers went? What the fuck? Of course the fucking ad loads. Oh, oh my God. I mean, I would like to be a partner, but oh, man, they need to fix that shit. So I really don't want to deal with that. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that's really bad with World War 3 at the moment. At least from my perspective, if there's anything else that you have, please put it down in the comment section. Let me know. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about the good. Communication. World War 3 has been on it, especially on Twitter. They have been telling us exactly what's going on, what they're fixing, why they're taking down the servers for maintenance and bringing them back up to make sure that everything's running correctly. I feel like this is actually like a proper beta so that's good you know they're actually out here you know trying to fix up the game as much as they can before release which is in march i believe next year so they're not screwing around so i count that as a plus considering other games have done a shittier job at telling us what's actually going on but yeah another thing that i really like is the gameplay itself it's pretty good i wouldn't say that it's like the best out there it's not like a battlefield type of game it's a little more down to earth a little more tactical insurgency-esque it actually feels like you have armor on when you're walking or running around. Like the gameplay is just a bit stiff, but not annoying. Gunplay is not too bad. One thing that I really appreciate about this game is that it actually has quite a bit of features and mechanics that a AAA studio like DICE and EA could not add to Battlefield, like lean, crouch sprinting, a scoreboard, a big map that you could put on your screen to see where you are, just to name a couple. Like World War 3 was more of what I wanted in a Battlefield game than 2042 was. So if you're someone that's looking for an alternative, then check out World War 3. You're honestly not losing Losing much because the game is going to be free to play in March. That's actually another plus right there. It's also free to play. And if you want to play it right now, it's only like 15 bucks, which is pretty cheap comparing it to Battlefield's like, what, $60, $70 game? I mean, it's on sale right now, but I still don't feel like it's worth that price that they're charging for. I mean, to be fair, we don't know what the monetization is going to look like for World War 3. Hopefully it's not as egregious as some other games that I've played. But the best thing about World War 3, in my opinion, is just the customization itself. Like when I'm actually playing the game, and I level up, it actually feels good because I actually get things when I level up, like whether it be a new gun, attachment, or gear that I can put on my character. Like that's how you do progression. Halo Infinite, take notes. Because there's 50 plus XP shit after every match. 
that ain't gonna cut it. World War III does a fantastic job in its progression so far, and the customization is just off the goddamn charts. The only thing that they don't give you is skins for everything. I'm assuming that's probably gonna be where their monetization is going to come in, but overall customization is pretty good. Tanks drive pretty well. I love my little Leviathan thing that I can call in. The game has call-ins, which I don't remember if I actually told you about that in previous videos, but they give you like three options of things that you can pick to call in. You earn those by doing things in the game like killing people or capping points they're really only effective in uh, tactical ops not so much team deathmatch and yeah i mean honestly this game is just really mixed for me like there's a lot of things that i like about it but there's also a lot of things that could be fixed and hopefully they fix it by march i feel like that's still not a lot of time but i guess we'll see and yeah that's pretty much all i really got to say about world war 3 at this point in time i might drop some more gameplay videos on it because there were some times where i was having fun and uh yeah so what are your thoughts have you played world war 3 just yet do you think it sucks do you think it's good let me know down below in the comment section because I'm going to end the video. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like World War 3, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or click on the donation button that's down below. Any donation helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content just like this or any other post that I decide to post. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.